your least favorite word, repeatable in public? Um, um, yeah, people, I mean, I'm one of these munch, you know. Munch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm munch on this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, I'm you are. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> your favorite piece of uh, music or literature? Oh. Oh, a music or a literature? Yeah, I'm, I'm being good to you tonight. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, music, I really love pictures at an exhibition. That's fine. You don't know. So I guess, uh, music people? Mussorgsky, Modest Mussorgsky. That sounds pictures right. At an yeah. exhibition. Yeah. Okay. And what, uh, literature, you have a favorite piece? So, yeah, I, I'm, again, I uh, I loved Brothers Karamazov in college, and as a kid, I loved Homer Price. And I'm a sucker for all Dr. Seuss books because I'm originally from Springfield, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dr. Seuss. Your least favorite piece of music or literature? Oh, least wow. You're like you wouldn't mind never hearing it again, or never reading. Yeah. It again. Mm. So read it. You know, it's for me. I would say songs that I've heard too much of, the, the tr most Trisha Yearwood music. <laughs> <laughs> My dad went through this phase where he watched, listened to a lot of Trisha Yearwood. Um, and then for, uh, for a book that I don't want to read or whatever, yeah. um, I think we had to, we had to read um, Cervantes' Don Quixote, which I love Manuel La Mancha as a musical, but I just, to me, that was a, a long, book. Yeah, long way to go around. Yeah. yeah, got it. What sound or noise do you love? No, oh, wow. Sound <laughs> or noise? Yeah. That I produce organically? It's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. 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 So, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, sirens, not because of, I mean, they're not great noises, but I just, I get worried about that, especially whenever I was driving home and I would hear a siren, I'm like, I hope that's not related to people yeah. I know. Yeah. What profession other than your own, if you could, would you like to attempt? Hmm. Um, so growing up, I wanted to be a baseball player. I wanted to do wow. that as a profession. And you know, I'm not I'm not sucking up anyway. When I was twenty two I thought about becoming a priest. And I thought that would be a, a great way to, to spend my life. Wow. And um, I also probably It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would also say that I, I think I really like to be um, you know, I like making things, you know. So oh. I all this all this new technology with three D printers. I'd love to be part of that sort of revolution of where if you needed a you know a, a new battery for your remote control instead of going out to CVS, the, you have a three D printer in your house and you can just make it. <laughs> what uh, profession would you not like to do in any way, shape, or form? Hmm. Probably something that I hugely mission driven. I go to work every day at the Harvard Ed School. I think what I'm doing is promoting education. Get really behind that. Same thing going out on any of the book talks, whatever. I'm a huge fan of the mission that I'm supporting. So anything that's not mission driven, something that's just, okay, do this. I had a friend who was a toll collector on the Massachusetts Turnpike. Wow. Uh, and that to me, he loved it. But to me, that, you know, just handing out, taking change or whatever, mm, yeah. that would, to me, creatively would, would be tough. That's great, toll collector. And then, um, last one. Okay. When you stand before God, at the end of your life, yeah. what would you like to hear him say? Uh, you made me proud. You made me proud. That's, that, that to me is something that I, I try and always just, you know, some of the stuff that I do is sometimes to make other people proud. My parents, and in, in, some way, in so many ways, um, because I do um, humanize and talk
talk to Mary like a friend and to Jesus and to God. I want to make them proud of it too. Guess what? I think you do. Thank you, Matthew.